Welcome to an introduction to accounting brought to you by Parkbench Tutors. In this short podcast we are going to show you how to alter some of the settings in SageLine 50. So we're going to go to the area for settings, click on that, we have a drop down menu and the most common one that you'll be probably asked to do in assignments is to change the program date. So we click on that, it will then say it's going to close any other windows that we might have opened before we can do that. So let's close that and we'll alter the date, we'll move it back about three weeks and say OK. And now if we go down to the bottom here you'll see we have in fact altered the program date to the 2nd of October of this year whereas the actual date is the 29th of October of 2012. So that's one that you will quite frequently ask to do, move the program date back and forth for entries. Now if we look at some of the other settings is one that we will use the company preferences if we take those this is the point at which you could alter the name of your company this again has come up in assignments in the past altering the name of the company and you would do it under company preferences you can also find if you want to add other company details that is where you would find the place to do it in addition you might look at some of the others let's look at one particular one and that is the VAT if the rate of VAT altered then you could alter it at this point if we do a drop down you can see the various levels if you wanted to change from VAT accounting to cash accounting if you wanted to add the payroll then you can look and give you instructions of how to do it here you can add your, your details for your accountant and so on. We'll just cancel that one or close that one. And now we will do one or two others that are of importance. Customer defaults Again, we use standard VAT here, standard posting. If we send an invoice to a customer and don't make any alterations, it will normally post it to the nominal code of 4000 for sales. Our statements here will be indicated aging. We do period aging, but we could alter it to calendar month aging. The discount. Now, if you wanted to do discounts for the invoice values, in other words, give say 5% if the invoice went o over a thousand pounds, then this is where you would make that alteration. So if we said a thousand pounds we give a 5% discount, that's how we would do it and the program would then automatically calculate it for us. That I think is the most, those are, I think are the most common ones that you're going to come across. So I don't think we need bother too much with the others. Thank you.